God always keeps his promises. God always keeps his promises. Amen. So when God says in the book of Genesis, he will not destroy the earth again by a worldwide flood, we can, we can trust that. When God says he will forgive us and forget our sins, we can trust that. God keeps his promises to Israel and he keeps his promises to us. And you see, if he would break his promises to Israel, he would break his promises to us. That's why this is so important. And here in this chapter 9 of Esther, we got Israel and the enemies of Israel. And the enemies think they're going to wipe Israel out. And once again, the opposite occurred, as it says in the, King, in the New King James. Or another phrase I love in Scripture is, but God. Now again, this plays into end time events. And it's the theme of, really, it's the theme of the book of Esther. The enemies attacking, God delivering. It's really a, a biblical theme throughout the scriptures. As we see over and over, people attacking Israel, the Jewish people. You remember that, and, and all of them were so assured they were going to win, Right? We think of uh, Pharaoh in Egypt placed Israel in bondage, slavery. We're killing and slaughtering the babies. And in the end, not only did the Israelites win their freedom, but they left with gold and silver and, you know, God just immensely blessed them. So over and over, Israel, because they're aligned with God, is victorious. 